Hi guys, I guess I don't need that. Um, hi guys, um, welcome back to another video. I'm really excited about this one. Um, just for the purpose, um, what I love in the fall because they're so fun. Uh, so I'm just gonna jump right into it. So this is our new unit. Um, it's actually still part of unit two, but it's just I split it in half because I thought there was a lot of information. Uh, you all did great on your exam, and I'm so proud of you. Um, but let's just jump into this so we can finish this unit and get it done with. Um, on a graph, an open circle means the number is not included, um, and a closed circle means the number is included. Okay. Um, a couple of things that I want to go over before we talk about that kind of stuff is what inequalities are. So, for example, you've probably seen this for your entire life, something like those. Okay. These are less than and greater than signs. Okay. The way we read this, for example, we have x is less than negative 1. We read it left to right. The sign eats towards the bigger number. So this reads left to right, x is less than negative 1. Okay? On the, uh, uh, or alternately, we can have x is greater than 3. This is numbers. We read this again, it eats towards a bigger number. X is going to be bigger than 3. Okay. When we have a less than or greater than sign, this is when we have an open circle on our graph. And you'll see that here in a little bit. Um, when we talk about examples like less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to, we have this little line underneath that symbol meaning that those numbers exist, okay? So for example, we have like x is less than or equal to, let's say, 4. So all numbers less than 4, including 4, because x is either less than it or greater than it, or, or equal to 4, those exist. Or on the contrary, we read left to right, we go x is greater than or equal to 5, this means x is either greater than or is equal to 5, so it means 5 or larger, that's where x is, okay? That, when we have this greater than part underneath it, that is denote by a closed circle. And again, that'll make more sense here in a second. When we talk about an open or closed circle, this is how I think of it. An open circle, right, if I was like playing hopscotch, right, and if I were to land on an open circle, I'd fall right through the hole, right? So that number does not exist, okay, or is not included in that. But if I were to play hopscotch, and I land on a whole circle, filled out, right, I'm not going to fall through it, so that number exists. And we'll practice that a little more when we get back in the class. But just to practice that idea, we have something like, x is less than or equal to negative 1. So the first thing I notice is that it is a less than or equal to. So it's going to be a closed dot. And I need to find negative 1 on here. Right? So I'm going to have a closed dot. And then I need to show where it's less than. Less than goes that way. So when we have x is less than or equal to negative 1, this is how we graph it. Can I see that very well? Oh yeah, you can. Okay, perfect. Number eight right here, y is less than negative three. So the first thing I notice is it is a less than, not a less than or equal to, so it's gonna be an open circle. What I do is I just write a little open circle over top of it. I come over here to three, make an open circle, and I know y has to be less than, it point, my arrow points that way, All the numbers that are less than 3 are shown here. This little arrow means that those ones have been over top. Alright. N is greater than or equal to 0.5 or negative 0.5. So the first thing I notice is that this is a greater than or equal to. So it's going to be a closed circle. And so I'm going to find negative 0.5 on the graph, which is about right here. And I need to show all the numbers greater than negative 0.5. 
all the numbers greater than negative point five move to the right. Last little practice here. I want you to do number 10 on your phone. K is greater than 3 fourths, so you should have noticed that this will be an open circle because this is not equal to 3 fourths. So I just found 3 fourths on my graph, drew a line up, and showed everything that was greater than 3 fourths, which is 2, 3, 4, 5, and all the numbers are greater than that. Good job. All right, the second half of this day is going to be working on making inequalities. So for example, we are going to write inequalities for these, so we have to look at what is it asking us, okay? It's really hard to tell, but this is actually a closed circle. Hopefully it's a little more visible on your sheet. Closed circle I'm going this way. So a closed circle means that it's going to be either less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, okay? And it's going to the bigger numbers. So what I'm going to read is that x, all my x's exist over here, is greater than or equal to 2. Super easy, right? Just find out where it's on the graph. Make a little arrow and see if it's greater than or equal to. Good job. This one right here is actually an open circle. I know it's super hard to tell. Um, and it goes like this. So because it's an open circle, is it going to be less than or less than or equal or less than greater than greater than or equal to less than or equal to? Yeah, it's going to be not an equal to because it's an open circle and it's moving towards the right. So I know it's going to be greater than. So x is greater than negative six. I do not have that little equal twos on the bottom because it's an open circle. 13 down here. This is an open circle again. I know it's super hard to tell on that one. But this is saying open circle to the left. So that tells me that x is going to be less than, not less than or equal to. You know, there's no, this is an open circle. And it's going to be less than or equal to negative 2 roots. I want you to try number 14 on your own. It's a closed circle, by the way. All right, so you should have gotten x is greater than or equal to 1. It's a closed circle, and it's moving towards getting bigger. There, oh, between, sorry, 2.5. See, even though I make mistake sometimes. It is in between 2 and 3, and it's everything number bigger than or 2 and a half. Good job. All right, so last test, we worked on something like this. y minus 5 equals negative 2. And I asked you, what kind of problem was it on my left-hand side? You would all say it's a subtraction problem, and to get rid of subtraction, we add. So we're going to add 5 to both sides. That's what I do to one side. i got to do to the other. This side cancels out, and I get y is equal to negative 2 plus 5 is a Easy peasy, right? That was like day one of solving equations. Boom. Solving inequalities is the exact same thing. The only difference is we have a little less than sign here, or greater than, or less than or equal to, that kind of stuff. So for this example, we have y minus 5 is less than negative 2. We're going to do the same exact process. Because it's a subtraction problem on this set, I have to add to get it over, so I'm going to add 5 both sides. I get y is, I'm going to keep this sign, y is less than 3. Same exact process, right? Same exact answer other than they said y is less than 3. Okay. This one right here, this is an addition problem on the side, so to get rid of addition I have to subtract. So I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides and I get x is greater than or equal to 7 minus 2, 5. Seems like we can do stuff, right? Because we've been doing this art for like the whole school year. So this should not be new or too difficult for you yet. All right, so I just have to confirm we are not going to talk about step on the first
communications. We're not even going to talk about this yet. Um, but I do want to talk about these two problems down here. Um, actually, no, you know what? Screw it. If you know how to add and subtract um, after today, I'm totally okay with it. So graphing and simple limitation, we're all good there. Thanks, guys.